Thanks for joining me on Frank Hero today for a closer look at Watchdog Legion mission gameplay with ray tracing. I hope you like watching gameplay with no sound though because unfortunately my audio didn't capture when I was playing this demo. This is every YouTuber's nightmare, I'm so sorry. Anyway, here's an overview of the Watchdogs Legion story. The fantasy of people coming together for a better future is most definitely relevant for the circumstances of today. Watchdogs Legion is set in a near future London and technology has taken a dark turn. Social inequalities, unemployment and crime are rife. Nationalism is at a peak whilst London is experiencing its downfall, but it's a bombing campaign that thoroughly plunges the city into chaos. Now an authoritarian state, a private military organisation called Albion is in command, so like they're the bad guys, but they're horrendously brutal and abusive. There are four big London villains though for you to take down, so there's the Sirs who are spying on the citizens every single move, you've then got Mary Kelly's dodgy gang who are trafficking humans, selling their organs, and you've got the Futurists too. It's bleak, but that doesn't mean it's all serious. You can also head to the pub for a drink and a quick game of darts before you visit your secret headquarters below. Sounds cool, right? You play as DeadSec and um, they've expanded into a full-blown resistance movement. It's really cool that characters you choose to recruit and play as will be fully integrated into the story and cutscenes. Um, I feature more about a recruitment system and how characters have got this whole backstory behind them in an open world video that I'm going to be showcasing in a few days time so check back for that if that's something you want to see. Anyway, it's going to be pretty hard for you to recruit people because the people have lost their trust in DedSec after DedSec were framed for a number of fatal bombings across London. And that's kind of where this story takes us, so you'll see in this mission that we're trying to unpack who it is that's behind this framing. If you've played a game from the Watchdog series before, you'll be familiar with the physics and abilities, but the difference this time is that you can recruit literally anyone. The whistleblower mission started by us receiving a call from a mystery caller that says the Signals Intelligence Response Service could be behind the bombings that DedSec have been framed for. Now the construction worker was already in my team when I started this demo. So different people that you choose to recruit throughout the game obviously have their own advantages. So this operative might look pretty ordinary but for this particular mission um, it's perfect because obviously he belongs there so he blends in and it's less conspicuous. Uh, but I got him killed because I was dicking about with the cargo drone. Once you get an operative killed or arrested, they'll be on a cooldown period. Um, so yeah, you basically just can't use them for a long period of time and you can completely botch missions if that particular person is the best person for the job. Uh, so yeah, definitely have a game plan before you tackle each mission. Now that I've completely scuppered any chances of the construction worker living out his spined undercover dreams, uh, I'll try playing as the hacker instead and take a different tactic for approach. As you'd expect, you can enter any location from multiple access points, so be that the sky, if I have my cargo drone still that will be possible, or just avoiding the most obvious entrance routes, you can prevent yourself from being instantly detected and having to go guns blazing. All DedSec recruits obviously have their own special abilities. I think this basic hack was available to all of them if I remember rightly. Um, but yeah, our hacker expert here is now arming a trap to take down the enemy that's nearby. Um, so there are a number of non-lethal weapons available to you in Watch Dogs Legion. I personally prefer the more lethal approach, but if you do that, you'll be more quickly detected. So up to you. This invisibility ability um, is something which I've also spotted in Hyperscape. I'm not sure if you've seen that new Battle Royale by Ubisoft. It's currently in the open beta stages, I think. This invisibility is handy for pure stealth. 
You'll go invisible for a short period of time for which you can sneak up behind enemies and perform an assassination move. Ubisoft confirmed for me that it is new to the series. One of the other elements of Watch Dogs Legion that takes it to a kind of higher level for me is the amount of puzzles throughout the game. So obviously you need to use your hack abilities to gain access to certain areas. So here we've just used the camera to download data to unlock the door. And you'll see later in the next mission, I've got to show you just how important these hacking abilities are. After completing the mission, we've now gone back to the secret DedSec headquarters that are under a pub. How British. Bagley is kind of like our AI tool that we use throughout. So Bagley can be used to get additional intelligence for you on certain areas. And yeah, it's Bagley that's now giving this team debriefing. And it's in this debriefing that we get a second taste of Zero Day. Um, now, not featured in this gameplay demo is the opening cutscene where Zero Day kind of appear behind the agent that you're playing as when the bombings go off. So yeah, as a player, this moment is nice for you because you get a little bit more information. Now Gap in the Armour is the next mission that we're going to take on and it's a more thorough look at Albion, so like the military sect that's currently in control of London um, and take another look at Nigel Cass, kind of like your evil arch villain. And I think this time in this mission, it's like a rogue scientist from um, the Albion network that we're looking to meet up with.
Now something I just wanted to quickly show you here was just how cool the DeadSec headquarters actually are. Um, so yeah, we've got really cool urban vibes. And then if you head on over to the photo booth, each time you recruit a new member to the DeadSec resistance, they'll appear in your lovely little portrait. And I think, is that Trafalgar Square? I should really know because I'm British, but yeah. The operative that we're actually playing as for this Gap in the Armour mission is, I think, Mohammed, who was the hitman that we recruited by doing a number of his personal missions. Um, you can see that in the Open World episode that I'm going to release shortly. And obviously, who wouldn't want a hitman on the team? So like I said earlier, puzzles play a huge part in Watch Dogs Legion. And we're now having to try and hack into Hamish's flat, but of course it's armed and booby-trapped. So in order to gain access, we've had to hijack the camera and we need to solve a puzzle. Now I'm not going to pretend that I found the puzzle easy. I'm not the quickest when it comes to puzzle solving. Um, so yeah, I'll leave this mystery to you. As you can see, I eventually did crack it. After you've spoken to Hamish when you've debugged his flat and everything, um, Albion are then on you because obviously they've been hunting down Hamish and you're in his flat, so you've given yourself away. Um, now, the demoist that I had with me during this um, Ubisoft Watch Dogs Legion gameplay demo did confirm for me that this mission is supposed to be really hard. So obviously, normally, um, you'll have a nice cutscene, you'll watch some intense action whilst you sit there hoping that the controls aren't going to be passed to you. But in this case, they got passed to me and I died instantly, yeah. We'll leave this Watch Dogs Legion gameplay overview here for today. Um, hope you enjoyed watching. Remember to like and subscribe and check back soon to see more videos on the recruitment system. Thanks for watching.